One of the biggest questions I get asked is, well, how do I paint how I paint? And this is exactly how I do it. First things first, I will usually get sent a image by a customer and then I will take that, get that posterized and then transfer that through my projector to get it onto the canvas, which looks something like this. I just wanted to show you just a quick video of how I actually start a painting. You come into my studio, all the lights are off. Then if I switch this round, you can see my setup. The image of Usain Bolt, which is my next painting, feeds through that wire and that goes into my projector. Projector projects that image onto there. If you come up close, I then draw around each of these parts to give me the different shades to then be able to make the piece. So for example, I'm just going to draw around this like so. And I just work my way all the way around the painting uh, the same way. Then once it's finished, it looks something like... So basically, you're taking the image that you get sent or an image that you're working with, you'll take that into an app called Pixar. That will then posterize the uh, image for you. Then you've got your kind of outline for the piece. You then need your projector. I will leave the projector that I use in the description. And then that will then project the image onto the canvas, which you've already prepped uh, with a base layer of Liquitex gesso, um, so that you have got a clean kind of protected surface to work with. And then you'll go around and you'll draw with a pencil around each line so that you've then got the outline of the image that you're working with uh, now on your canvas. So now that we've got the image onto the canvas, we can literally start painting. So whether it's gonna be oil paint or acrylic, that's completely up to you. But what we wanna do is work around each shade. And so I personally would advise that you use or start with the darkest colors. I usually start with black because then you're able to gauge from there what the other shades should be. I find that if you do it the other way around, it makes it very difficult to tell whether that shade is too dark or too light because you have no base reference to work from. So as I build out a painting, you'll see that I'll usually go from like the eyes or like some shadow all the way through to the like kind of highlights on the cheek or the, or the nose. Then as I'm working through those different shades, I tend to use a lot of sandal in my oil paint to kind of thin it down, which I'll link in the description just below. By thinning down the paint using sandal, it just makes for a much easier blend because when you're using oil paints, it can be quite thick and clunky, but by thinning it down, it just means you can get a kind of nice smooth transition into the different shades. The tricky bit is now obviously going through your whole painting, working in that process. And so I'll constantly be referencing the iPad that I have next to me um, to make sure that my colors and my shades are on point and I'll be zooming in and out to make sure that kind of from a distance it also looks good but also kind of close up it's true to what the image should actually be and you definitely want to take your time with it at this point because the worst thing you can do is rush it ruin a painting and you'll be annoyed with yourself with kind of the base layer of your piece and you've kind of blended it through and you've got your whole image kind of complete my kind of finishing touch or the pièce de résistance is the flicks and so importantly when you're doing the flicks i always do the white and the highlights first when i'm flicking the paint on so that you don't put too much of the highlights on if you you only want like minimal black flicks on there because otherwise it will completely ruin the painting and trust me i know about that but if you do it white first and then build up uh, with some grey flicks and then finally with some black flicks, uh, similar to like this, it kind of brings the whole painting together and so you haven't got so many like different posterized gradients in the painting. Um, if you have still got some kind of left from not being able to fully blend everything in and that will lead to a piece that looks something like that. And like any good artist, to finish a painting, obviously got a sign in. So to do that, I use a Posca pen. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, but I'll tell you what, I'll put it in the description just down there. Um, if you do want to go and grab that pen. And that is how I create my kind of black and white painting. So as always, please do comment and let me know if this video was useful. Um, all of your comments I go through, I make sure I read all of them and I reply to every single one. And also this is a new YouTube channel, so please do help a brother out and do subscribe just down there.